So yesterday, I said this would happen. I've been pretty on point with what I've been saying over the last several months, right? And what I said yesterday was that right now, if you try to get cute with the market, if you try to think you're smarter than the charts, the charts are going to wreck you. And today is a per perfect representation of that, all right? Anybody that tried to get cute yesterday and sell 55 cents anticipating a further drop, you got wrecked. You lost 10% of your position. ADA rallied all the way back up to 60 cents. Right now it's at about 59 and a half cents. And this is the exact reason why I say the things that I say. The reason why I've said, don't try to get cute right now. Because the charts are in a wild range of volatility. ADA is in very little liquidity ranges, all right? It's gonna move very quickly. And it's been showing strength during this whole time. It's the reason why I've said, I don't see drops down to these these really low ranges. It just doesn't make sense right now. And remember, ADA is doing this outside of a BTC move. Right now, BTC is at 41.6. ADA rallied while BTC has stayed down. That's a key point I've been trying to stress. Now, what this means from here is kind of a big question, right? Remember a couple of days ago, maybe three days ago or so, I said this rally for ADA may in fact not be over. This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? It's possible this rally that ADA is on may in fact not be over. There's a couple things happening right now. Someone said that, oh yeah, this is just a bear market rally. No, this is the transition to the bull market. This is what it looks like. Multiple months of green in terms of BTC, well above the 20 month moving average. And then alts, alts gaining against BTC. This is big signifiers of that shift to the bull market cycle. And now ADA is continuing again to rally against BTC. Now, price from here, that's probably a question a lot of people have. You know, this is filmed at 5.43 in the morning, Central Standard Time, in case you guys are wondering. So before a couple things happening, we know that today we have a CPI report, so that'll be out by the time you guys are watching this. Not sure how much of an impact that's going to have because immediately tomorrow, well, not immediately, 2.30, I believe, Central Standard Time or 1.30 Central Standard Time, we're going to have the conclusion of the FOMC meeting. I think that is a much better indicator of what is to come. We're going to have to look at the sentiment that's been, that it will be said. Okay. These things are going to provide the direction in the market. These macro factors, these macro reports, things like that. These are our big indicators to close out the year. Now I do have to say this, we are on pace with what we were doing in 2015. What that means is possible consolidation to close out the year, right? We may essentially trade sideways a little bit to the downside, to finish 2023. I'd like a more bullish scenario, but history, you can't ignore it sometimes, right? Now, what followed that was obviously a just a massive, massive explosion. We dropped a little bit to begin January, but we went on this mega run into the bull market, one of the most explosive bull markets we've ever had. And now that we're getting into, again, these, these huge positive possible catalysts coming and mass adoption happening and all these big things, it could provide, again, massive explosive rallies to begin 2024 all right now someone else also mentioned the possibility of uh tax harvesting now i have to say this so right now i i don't know how much tax harvesting we're going to get and the reason i say that is because 2023 overall has been a good year most people they're up from where they were this time last year and this is an important point because a lot of people did tax loss harvesting last year. So my question is, why would people sell right now to secure gains for the year? That doesn't really make sense. So we may not see that much, to be honest with you, apart from people actually just securing profits, we may not see the same kind of, you know, sell off like we saw at the end of last year. All right. It, it, it may feed into that ultra bullish scenario where we have, again, a bullish climb to close the year, an explosive rally to begin the year. I mean, there's there's a lot of unknowns right now. There's a lot of factors that are impacting the market. But what people need to know is during this time, the, the smartest thing to do has been just to wait, right? Not, not to wait to add to your position, but to wait to do anything with the stuff that you currently hold. And again, this is not financial advice. You can do what you want, but it's been shown throughout time that time in the market outweighs timing the market. There are people that continue to try to time the market, and those are the people that time and time again, they get wrecked, all right? They get lucky, they get lucky, lucky, lucky until they don't, and the market decides to wreck them. So 
Just wanted to share that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below. I'd love for ADA to continue this rally. I think BTC can set some nice direction here. Would love to see a bunch of short positions liquidated and for us to continue to move to the upside to close out 2023. So appreciate you. Show your support below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.